Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm talking about Spider-Man. It's over. Um, J.J. Abrams and Henry Abrams run on Spider-Man, I am thankful, is now complete. Uh, the best thing I can say about this is the artwork was okay. Um, we... So the final issue, Ben has been captured by Cadaverous. Um, he's not even a hero in his own story. Spoilers, warning for everyone who hasn't read this, that if you want to read this, I pity you. Um, ben is not even the hero. He is saved by one of the alien creatures. Um, they then get saved off this ship that Cadaverous is on uh, by Tony Stark. And they go back to battle on a bridge, like a still standard Spider-Man trope, really. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's bad. Um, ben manages to steal a, a cure, thinking that he can save Peter. Uh, when we finally get to Peter, Peter's been strung up in a web. Um, doesn't look like he's doing too good, but he gets over that. He's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Um, and it we see that the alien creature was actually MJ, and she gets injected with this cure, so she becomes normal MJ again. Peter then dies in an explosion, and Ben Parker and Mary Jane get matching Spider-Man suits. Courtesy of Tony Stark. This is without a doubt the worst. I'm, I'm not even saying the worst Spider-Man run. The worst run on a comic book series I think I've ever, ever read. This was hard to get through. And... I mean, I... I had respect for J.J. Abrams with some of the things that he's done and written. I mean, I quite liked Star Trek... I didn't mind Force Awakens, but it's clear he is no Joss Whedon. Joss Whedon can write a good story in a comic. He can also do a good story in, on TV, on in, in films. J.J. Abrams can't. Um, and this now worries me for the state of the DCEU with him wanting to do, was it either Green Lantern or a Man of Steel film? To me... He has not shown respect to the Spider-Man character of Peter Parker. Um, the Ben Parker character, the, the son, was was okay up until the end. And he is, like I said, he's not even a hero in his own story. Um, that's frustrating. And like I said, what's even more frustrating is the fact that Mary Jane has been dead for 10 years, I think it is, or something in the comic. I, I Fact check me on that. I don't. I don't mind because I, I'm really past this book now. Um, been dead for so long, yet this magical cure can turn her from this alien monster into human. Um, the cure that was meant to be used on Peter, who wasn't doing so well, then did fine, and then managed to get the strength enough to throw both Ben and MJ off the bridge before a massive explosion happens. And this explosion comes out of nowhere. It's just an explosion for the explo for the sake of it. Um, I'm just just to kill off Peter. They've shown no respect to Peter, Peter throughout the entire series so far. And then just killing him like that is just even more of a slap in the face. Um, I can only hope neither of them go near Spider-Man ever again. This might sound like a harsh review, but I I am infuriated by this book. Um, Spider-Man is one of my favourite characters. And what they've done to not just the character, but the the, the universe in total. I, this, is, this is a whole separate universe. This is their universe. That's fine. I won't even acknowledge its existence. As far as I'm concerned, this doesn't exist. This is bad to uh, an extreme. 
Um, I hope there is no one out there that is wanting to read this book. Uh, if you get enjoyment out of it, more power to you. I I respect the fact that you can get enjoyment out of this. That's fine. If this is your first Spider-Man book, cool. You know, it, it gets better. Um, there is so much out there that is so much better than this. Um, like I said, I, I just feel drained after reading that and, and thinking of how bad this is. Um, obviously, I would normally ask if anyone is, if anyone is sort of wanting to read this and what are your thoughts, but I, I urge and plead, please do not read this. Please. It's terrible. Um, if you have read it, please let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. I'd be curious to know if there is anyone that can get enjoyment out of this. Um, I'd like to talk to these people and find out what, what they've enjoyed. You know, yeah, I'd like to hear that. Um, other than that, let me know what you think about it down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.